extraction of DNA from a banana. So in this case, what do you suppose to have in during this experiment? Number one, I must have a banana. Then you need to have uh, salt. When you talk about salt, you are talking about table salt. Table salt, the salt you use at home, so it's not that a big deal. Table salt. Then you have to be with a, a detergent or liquid soap. Uh, you need to have a liquid soap, so it's supposed to be there. Then you have to be with water. You're supposed to have water for you to do this experiment. And then um, you need to have uh, some plastic bags. Some plastic bags. Then you need to have what you call ethanol, alcohol. Yes, ethanol, alcohol. So you need to have it so that um, it's also helping us in the extraction. Um, then you need to have uh, test tubes. If you don't have test tube, uh, you need to have maybe something like a syringe. Ne? Yes. So, so number one, what you need to do is to peel off this banana. Peel off this banana. Yeah, let's peel it off. Yeah, it's not for eating. Some people that will be saying yummy, yummy. No yummy, yummy here. Yes. So we put the banana. Uh, inside the plastic put the banana inside this plastic so it depends on how many students you have who are going to be so that's my banana that's number one number two you need to mix uh, this with this and salt so you need to measure you have to be uh, able to measure a specific concentration so it will be guiding you what you're supposed to do depending on the experiment you want to do but if you don't have uh what you how you do you measure it if you don't have so if i don't have what do i do yeah you can just estimate yes you can just estimate so that yeah maybe depends on how much do you need yeah maybe that one is enough yeah you can estimate then you put salt, but please follow the instruction based on the, the, this is just a simple guide, yes. So it show you that it's not that a difficult thing, yes. So I'm just uh, trying to estimate. Uh, yeah, it's enough. Then now I have to add uh, this detergent or soap. Uh, the, the liquid soap from home, you know it. You think, why do we need to add the liquid soap? Why do we need to add the salt? Why do we need to add the water there? Yes, we have to see each and everything. So the color doesn't matter. You need to keep the temperature below. If you don't have a thermometer, just work with it. So this is a stirring rod. If you don't have, you can use a spoon. So now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to start. So after that, so that is our mixture we have made. Now, what we need to do uh, is to squash this. We can squash when the liquid is in there already, or we can ju just first squash it a bit. Why do we squash it? Uh, basically, it's not a big deal, just to increase the surface area for the reaction to take place. You know that. And done with the putting. So I'm just doing this so that I prevent the leakages from what? From, from happening. So now after that I need to add what I've prepared here, this, this mixture, into this. Yes, have to add that into that. So I pour. What am I doing? I'm extracting DNA from a banana. Yes, I mean banana. Ah. So now I can mix it properly now the next thing is to add alcohol or ethanol in this case uh, when i add ethanol i need to so do i add it immediately what do i do this ethanol needs to be cooled down yes this please do not drink this ethanol because this ethanol is how much is 90 90 what 90 five percent yes so now what i do i'm going to 
make this ethanol to go into this syringe. So what do I do? I'm going to put this syringe, yes, in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes just to cool it down. Yeah. So now I'm going to put it in the... So you see, it's simple. You don't need to have so many material to do these extractions. So now let's go to the fridge and we put this. So now we're going to put it in the fridge. So you need a sieve, you need a sieve which you are going to use to filter out this. So let's go to filter it out. Now we need to add the alcohol or the ethanol in here. So basically that is DNA, uh, the extraction is scoop it out with a spoon and then when you view it under microscope you will see entangled structures. you first of all they can ask you to write a full report of what you have done number two uh, maybe a teacher can be or an instructor can be um, observing what you are doing and then is not saying anything so it means that uh, you're supposed to be doing the steps correctly or the methodology correctly and then maybe can be awarding marks depending on the skill is looking for and then maybe they can ask you some questions what is the purpose of pulping the banana flesh uh, explain the purpose of the following ingredients in the extraction process uh, table salt or salt uh, detergent or uh, uh, dish wash liquid soap whatever you used alcohol um, what is the purpose of alcohol? What are the observable um, threads or clamped made up of that thing we saw at last? What is it made up of? What are some of the experimental errors? Yeah, they can also ask you the experimental errors. And then what is your conclusion in this regard? So um, if you are to write a report, don't forget to write an investigative question. And then um, the aim, don't forget about the aim, um, to investigate whether the process can be performed uh, to extract DNA threads from a banana, because that's what we are using, depending on what you are using. Suggested maybe uh, safety precautions, you have to talk about some of the precaution, uh, precautions you have used so that there is safety. Maybe wearing goggles, you know that alcohol is highly flammable so you, you, you avoid uh, uh, direct heating of alcohol yes or bringing next to the flame um, what are uh, some of the observations you, you, you saw yeah you can talk about uh, here we are talking about with the naked eyes DNA is visible as clamped as clamp of white maybe something which is white sticky or wet cotton like mass something like that so it depends on what exactly you have seen but that's what we have seen 
Then you can talk about the discussion and the interpretation of the results. Pulping uh, the banana flesh is basically that pulping is necessary for breaking uh, of the cells or opening them and also increase the surface area for the extraction. Then table salt or salt, we, we can say that it keeps the cell uh, um, proteins dissolved in aqueous solution so that they do not precipitate in alcohol along with the DNA. So basically it's just to help us uh, DNA not dissolving with alcohol so that they are separated. Then detergent helps us to dissolve the phospholipids uh, in the cell and the nuclear membrane which break down. When it breaks down the nuclear membrane uh, the cell membrane this facilitates the extraction of DNA from the nucleus and the cell. Yeah, so it is better it, 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 it makes the process faster yes of, of DNA extraction. Then we can talk about the alcohol what is the alcohol used for basically alcohol is used to precipitate the dna from uh, the solution yeah so that now once we add alcohol you will see that two layers are formed the white mist or wet cotton like mass will be formed yeah on top of um, the beaker yes if you're using a beaker if you're using a glass whatever you are using yeah you will be able to see those two layers but after adding alcohol so alcohol is very important in precipitating the dna out of the um, the solution you have or the mixture you have what you have prepared then um you need to talk about the experimental errors definitely maybe you can talk about temperature yeah then you can talk about the conclusion you have to talk about the conclusion maybe a simple process using the apparatus whatever you have used uh, can be used to extract dna from a threads from a banana or from banana cells because you have used banana whatever you have used still is fine so something like that so the practical of extraction of dna is not that complex it's just that uh, people when they think when they hear about dna extraction they think that it's a very complicated thing so that is it it has been mcid we are coming back with many practicals and uh, many experiments so that uh, these experiments you can use them to understand the concepts of uh, your content Thank you very much for tuning. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for our daily free videos.